Omaki Buck. Omaki. Omaki Buck. No cousin. And I'm actually director at the Electaquini Institute for American Indian Education at the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee. But that institute is a partner organization to the Milwaukee Indian Community School. So I regularly go out to the school and work with them to meet language revitalization goals, to create curriculum together. The walk itself was intended to be a space where the language is used. We're out on the landscape. We literally are practicing and role modeling the goal of using our language to describe the space that we're in and connecting it to our identity. Uh, uh, we went out there with the rule that no one would use English because for some people it takes a little bit of time hearing the language to say a few phrases back and feel comfortable. You'll notice that the younger uh, students who went along, they were both ninth graders, they jumped in at the end and they were making simpler statements, but even they jumped in and were able to do that. So the places that we stopped on the walk were places that had been identified by Michael, the Ojibwe language teacher, as sites that he regularly went to with the students throughout the year to mark when seasons are changing and to, with the students, kind of harvest useful plants. The languages need to be revitalized, so they're taught there, but it really is a bigger goal to, you know, enhance well-being and identity of these sovereign nations for the generations right now, but well into the future, too. Oh, wow.